Hello you guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you guys every single piece that's in my winter capsule wardrobe. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Annie. I do content around my minimalist lifestyle and especially fashion, which is close to my heart. If you haven't seen a video of mine before, I like to organize my capsule wardrobe into seasonal capsules. I live in New York City and so we have four different seasons and that's just the way that works best for me and my lifestyle. I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what's in my capsule, what I'm loving right now, some pieces that have stayed with me from last year's capsule and probably many years before and also the things that have changed or are new in. I love things that transition season to season to season so a lot of my pieces here actually are featured in my other seasonal capsules as well. If you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content and joining the family and let's get into the video. Stay tuned for a later video on all the outfits that I could put together with my capsule wardrobe. Coming soon. This is my winter capsule wardrobe for 2023. Let's start with an overview of what's in my winter capsule wardrobe. I basically have one pair of jeans, one pair of trousers, two pair of sweatpants, and a couple pairs of leggings if you count them. They're more like under layers because of really cold winter days. And then I have two sweater dresses, one special occasion type of dress, a couple different sweaters, varying neckline and styles, a cardigan sweater, a white tee, a few pairs of shoes, and essential winter coats. Let's go item by item and talk about why I love each and every one of these pieces for a very limited capsule wardrobe. Uh, the first thing I wanna walk you guys through are the bottoms. I usually like to have two pairs of jeans my capsule wardrobe just because I wear jeans so much but I'm changing sizes a lot I'm pregnant and so one pair of jeans generally gets a job done for me in terms of jeans I always kind of gravitate towards a light to medium blue jean wash to me that's just the best balance of casual and cute I love a looser fit something that is really easy for me to wear every single day and I have these pair from ASOS I'll link a couple options below for jeans I would like if I was my normal size I love a Levi jean. I also have a denim forum jean, which is a brand from Aritzia. Another reason I've cut down on jeans so much is because I've really been gravitating towards more of the trouser look. Last year, I had a pair of black culotte trousers, which I love and I'm still saving for when I'm back to my old size. This season, I was on the hunt for a pair of neutral colored trousers, definitely something wide, looser fit, really clean, and I ended up with a white pair of trousers. These are from Uniqlo. I love this kind of like cargo pant trouser. I love how this like fit of trouser looks with my more dressier or like more fitted sweaters. And I also think that this color trouser is really, really great for transitioning into the spring and even into the summer. So I'm always thinking about how to get the most wear out of each piece, um, assuming I can still fit this <laughs> in those seasons. So I really love these pair from Uniqlo. I will link them down below as well. For the rest of my pants, last year I had two pairs of sweatpants and this year I stayed with two pairs of sweatpants. I just upped the size. I always go for a standard black and a standard gray. I'm a very, very, very big sweatpant girl in the winter. For doing errands, for walking the dog, going out at night, and even just lounging around the house, I that's my preferred pant. So I know how much wear I get out of sweatpants and that's why I went for two pairs of sweatpants from Uniqlo and I got their heat tech sweatpants. I also have a few underlayers that I use like leggings or like long johns I guess. I get just this really standard black heat tech leggings from Uniqlo. Cute to wear under like tunic length sweaters and even under sweater dresses if you want but I normally wear them under my pants, under my jeans, under my trousers. So just a pair of really versatile underlayers. Moving on to dresses. This year I've been so into sweater dresses. I've been wearing them so so much. I got the same exact sweater dress in two different colors from Uniqlo. They're the perfect midi length. They have a little slit and I just think they're the most comfortable material. I love the colors. They're so classic. They look really good and the turtleneck is just the perfect weight and thickness and I don't know just the, just the best style. And then the last dress I have. Last year my winter dress was this beautiful long sleeve silky type of dress definitely a going out dress definitely a date night dress or holiday party I still love that dress I've stored it until I can fit it again but for now I have this jersey knit dress that you, I've showed you guys in my fall capsule wardrobe as well it's a fitted midi dress it's long sleeve it's a very very deep 
v-neck um, and I think it's a great dress for a date night for a holiday party as well and also a really really great layering piece underneath sweaters as well so it has a little bit more versatility than just a going out dress let's talk about a couple of the basics before we move on to my favorite sweaters for basics I have a white short sleeve tea this one is from asos um usually i do go for a more cropped white tee that's just my style though. but lately for obvious reasons i'm into a longer length t-shirt now you can wear it by itself you can layer underneath something and that's kind of taken the place of a white button-up for me this year last year i had i think two white button-ups in my capsule wardrobe i was very into wearing white button-ups and i still am but i find myself reaching for button-ups more in the fall or in the spring and even as like a light top in the summer um so that's a swap that i made for this season a white tee is just what I'm going for. And the next like layering piece that I have is a new in piece. This is a chunky knit cardigan. This one I got from ASOS and I am obsessed with this cardigan. It's a lighter knit. It's incredibly soft. I wear this as a top by itself with jeans or over top a white t-shirt or even over top a turtleneck or like a mock neck sweater like this. This is the replacement piece for a sweater that I shrunk. And so I took my while to get another one, but I'm so happy that I did. And I've already worn this piece a million different times. I think a cardigan like this is super, super versatile for all seasons. And then the last category before we talk about like outerwear and accessories are my sweaters. I am a big, big sweater girl. You saw that in my fall capsule wardrobe and also in my winter capsule wardrobe last year. I like to keep a few different sweaters in different fits and shades and styles. Let's talk about the different sweaters that I have. Starting with this one, this is a mock neck sweater that you guys have seen probably, I, I think for a whole year, if not two years already. If I had to reduce the number of sweaters that I have, this one would always make the cut. It's a thinner sweater but definitely a like silkier or like a little bit more luxurious material so I think it's really easy to dress up wearing it to the office or with a pair of trousers and I love the mock neck which just gives that little bit of like refinement and style another sweater that I have in my closet an oldie and a goodie as well this is a chunky knit tunic length sweater this is in like a, in a deeper oatmeal color I think a tunic length sweater is really versatile it's obviously a very easy sweater to pair over a pair of leggings if you just doing a very casual day. It looks great with a pair of light wash jeans. And then you can tuck it into a pair of trousers. You can really do anything with a sweater like this. And again, I went with a mock neck. That to me is just like one of the best styles for fall and winter. Um, this has been in my fall capsule. It's been my last winter capsule. This sweater will probably be with me forever. I changed out a couple of the sweaters actually from last winter's capsule. Last winter's capsule, I had a gray crew neck sweater. I recently sold that sweater and I decided Decided to replace it with this sweater from H&M. This is a maternity sweater actually. I loved how chunky it was. It just is a very substantial kind of almost like festive knit it's not quite a tunic length but it's also a little oversized so i think it's a really easy piece to make casual i think that a gray capsule wardrobe just has to fit what you like to wear gray was just not a color that i like to wear often i find that creams and tans and blacks fit me a little bit better because it can be more easily dressed up or down Another sweater that's kind of new in, it's not really new, but I didn't include it in my previous winter capsule. I've had this black turtleneck in my closet for a couple years. I was actually, I was storing it and then I was trying to sell it and it was just like not selling right away. I'm really glad it didn't because I've been wearing this black turtleneck a lot. I guess the style came back. This knit specifically is really kind of luxurious, has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I think it's really easy to dress up, but it's black. And so you can really do anything with it. This sweater is also from Ritzia. This is from a couple years ago. I'm not sure if they still sell it. It's called the Nicholas turtleneck. I specifically remember that. I think it's a wool and cashmere blend. So it's definitely a pricier piece but I've already had it for like five or six years and then the last sweater that I have is a logo sweatshirt last year I had a blue logo sweatshirt which I still actually have but it's kind of gotten beaten up and it's kind of transitioned more to pajama top for me to replace that this past fall I picked up this logo sweatshirt from my favorite museum the Museum of Modern Art I've just been obsessed with it I love a neutral color you're seeing me in too many cream pieces I've just been loving cream 
so 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 much i don't get sick of it i got this sweatshirt in an oatmeal color as well with burgundy type font and i'm obsessed with it i wear this so many different times and actually i love wearing this little turtleneck underneath that logo sweatshirt recently when it's a really cold or rainy day the last category i want to talk to you guys with are like outerwear and accessories i'll go through kind of quickly through my coats because they're pretty much the same coats as they were last winter for winter i don't play around it gets cold so i have for the winter my really heavy duty parka this one i got last year from lululemon and i'm still in love with it it's the perfect length it goes right above the knee it has a really powerful down fill so it's incredibly warm it's waterproof and my favorite thing about this coat is that it comes with these little straps inside so that you can just wear the coat like a backpack when you're indoors um, so you don't have to be wearing your coat or carrying it on your arm and just sweating to death i mean it is lululemon so it's kind of cute but it's more of a workhorse than it is like a cutesy coat and i'm never getting rid of it i love it so much and then another coat that i had last year as well is like menswear coat and i have that in this beautiful camel color this one is my husband's coat he got like four five six seven years ago i don't know and i took it over a few years ago it is like pure wool so it is warm it's longer it's oversized it has like shoulder pads the whole line and of course to wear with a coat like that you need a scarf i got a oversized wool scarf in a really classic gray color it's really great to layer with any of the coats but i also love to layer it with a sweater so i'll show you guys a couple examples of how I've worn it recently but I just think this scarf is just gonna last me for the rest of my life one coat that was in my capsule last year that I am currently selling this year is a cropped puffer coat and my style has changed a little bit on that um, it's still a really great warm easy to wear coat but I've been leaning more towards the oversized like length and oversized fit so I've decided to take out this piece from my capsule this year. I will link my Poshmark below if you guys are interested in this coat. Uh, the last thing we'll talk about is shoes. Not much has changed here as well. I'm still wearing constantly my Ultra Mini Uggs from last year. I have these in the chestnut color. I'm obsessed with these. I have so many outfits that I like to put together with these and I've like put them all on my Pinterest board. So you guys can check that out if you're interested. Then next, I have some black boots. In last year's capsule, I had this pointed toe, pebbled leather, chunky heeled boot from Everlane. This year, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the grungy and casual looks. So I stored away those pointed toe boots for another year, another season. And this year, I replaced those boots and my rain boots and my snow boots with a pair of Doc Martin Winter Grip Combat Boots. It's also lined, so like little fuzzy black fur on the inside for extra warm. They're not waterproof, but so far they've done really great in the rain and we'll see how they do in the winter. But I've been loving them for just like a black boot outfit look. I love a chunky combat boot, especially with my closet because I have so many pieces that lean towards like the classic and the timeless and a little bit more tailored. I love throwing all of that for a loop with a combat boot. And then the last pair of shoes for my winter capsule wardrobe is a pair of white sneakers. I've shown you guys a white sneaker in every single season's capsule because they are that essential. Last year I had a pair of white Vans which I loved. They got completely destroyed and so instead of replacing the exact same shoes I decided to go for a pair of white Converse's. I got these white Converse's I think it was yeah, for fall, and I'm wearing them still in the winter. I love them to death. Okay, that's it for my capsule wardrobe. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to be subscribed because I'm posting more content on my community tab, including some giveaways and just fun things to do together. And as always, let me know what videos you guys wanna see in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll catch you in the next one.